give me a kiss. Why are they fast? Who put all the chairs up so fast? <laughs>
One day the drunk said to me, nothing, he has any form. I put my hands in the air and felt nothing. Tell me, this day, Mr. Double Vision, where are we and why? Barcelona, 2,000-year-old laundry hangs out to dry five stories up on the filigree balconies of Barcelona. The city wears this garland of bright colored socks, towels, and underwear like a necklace around her classic neck. And she sits with her feet in the Mediterranean, a wide-hipped goddess, little ships anchored around her toes. Her streets are in a state of eternal repair. New cobblestones cover old Roman roads. On these narrow thoroughfares, opals and cujos cluster pigeon-like for the night, parked tight against the walls, two wheels on the sidewalk. On Rambla, the promenade through the Gothic barrio, the world continues. Vineyards and kiosks, musicians and gold flake living statues work the crowds. Waiters pass by, carrying plates of paella and 
frosty glasses of cold beer. French girls with nose rings stroll the wide sidewalk, purchase postcards, pass fountains. Pigeons careen down the narrow streets, dodging tour buses. Picasso wandered these streets a hundred years ago, a young art student, painting the harbor, catching the morning light on canvas, doing perfect Rim Grant esque portraits of his family, landscapes, sensuous line drawings of erotic nudes. Then, already at 17, a master, and then he boarded a train to Paris and taught us all how to see. Gaudi, Miro, Casal learned the lessons of perspective, grace, balance, and harmony in the streets of Barcelona. <coughs> Dali walked his cocky strut down the boulevards, slashing reality into visual puns with his rapier like pen. In Barcelona, everyone is an artist, lives for beauty, existing in a marbled cocoon of architectural splendor. Their internal reality manifested in sculptured fountains, columned arched walkways, courtyards, tree-lined boulevards, Art Nouveau apartments, Roman palaces, Belle Epoque post offices, opera halls. And in España, right now, in the autonomous region of Catalonia, the goddess Barcelona still sits in the shore in the sun, listening to the thin high song the humans create with their little gyrations across her warm, pulsing body. She laughs, tosses her head, shaking her deep brown curls, and takes another sip of sweet Malaya sherry. Mm -hmm. Sandra, Father Martha. Because I dreamed of you last night. And you are so far away, and my bed is so empty, and because the wind blows over the ocean and the waves make way to the shore, and you are so far away, and my bed is so lonely, I sing this song of longing and count the days until we are together, and I feel your body next to mine. Because in my dreams, I felt your warm lips and your heart beating so fast, my love, as the waves pounded against the wet sand, and there was nothing left in the world but our love. And because I see your face when I close my eyes, and I call your name, but you can't hear me in your house 3,000 miles away. I sit on this sad hill and sing this song of longing and count the days until we are together and I feel your sweet body next to mine. El grito de Juan Gallo. <coughs> Llamó Juan Gallo, el jefe de la lucha, the champion cock of the village. Fifty-two times I've entered the pit and stained the sand red with my opponent's blood. Because I have survived 52 fights, the villagers speak my name with reverence, and I've made Hippolito a rich man. We live together in his palapa, my roost next to his bed. After the battles, when the slashed corpses of the brave losers are returned to their owners, Hippolito takes me home, removes the razors from my spurs, washes the dried blood off my feathers. He brings me fat insects to eat, fat hens to keep me company. When the sun drops into the ocean, he whispers baby talk to me. He smokes la mota and blows blue smoke into my lungs. And in my dream, I become a sunflower, my face turning toward the warmth. Death no longer my business. These dreams give me strength. I rest until the polito puts the razors on my spurs. <coughs> and I again become one guy, the jefe de la lucha. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Remotos, the gypsy evokes far away remote lands. Torres altas, the hombres mysteriosos, the tall towers, the mysterious men. En la voz, entrecortara mansos rojos, in his cracked voice travel his eyes, lo negro sobre la rojo. The black over the red. Y la cueva en calara tiembla en el oro, and the whitewashed cave trembles in the gold. Lo blanco sobre lo rojo, the white over the red. The castanet. Cropolo, 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 escarabano sonoro. Rattle, rattle, rattle. The sonorous evil. In la araña de la mano, in the spider of the hand, risas el aire calido. In the spider of the hand, you ripple in the warm air. Y te ahogas en tu trino de palo, and drown in your trill of wood. Cropro, cropro, cropro. Escabarrojo, sonoro. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Sonos feel. The next two poems are about the grito. And the grito means cry. It also means the soul of flamenco, the passion and the tragedy and the music that comes out <coughs> of the guitar and the dance. Ay, el grito dejan el viento en sombra de cipres. The cry leaves a shadow of cypress upon the wind. Déjame en este campo llorando. Leave me here in this field weeping. Todo se otro rota en el mundo. No quiero más que el silencio. Everything in the world is broken. Nothing but silence remains. Déjame en este campo llorando. Leave me in this field weeping. El horizonte Sin luz, este mordido de jugueras. The moonless horizon is broken up by bonfires. No os he dicho que me dejes en este campo. I told you, leave me here in this field. Leave me. El grito. 
La elipse de un grito va en monte a monte. The ellipse of the cry travels from mountain to mountain. Desde los olivos, ser un arco iris negro sobre la noche azul. From the olive trees, it appears as a black rainbow upon the blue night. Ahí como un arco de viola. El grito ha hecho vibrar largas cuerdas de viento. Ay, like the bow of a viola, the cry has made streams of the wind vibrate. Ay, la gente está en la cueva. Asoman sus velones, ay. The folks from the caves, they stick out their oil lamps, ay. This last is for George and the musicians. La guitarra. Empieza el llanto de la guitarra. And so begins the weeping of the guitar. Se rompen las copas de la madrugada. The wine glass shatter in the dead of night. Empiezo el llanto de la guitarra. The weeping of the guitar begins. It's inutile, callarla. It's useless to hush it. It's impossible, callarla. It's impossible to hush it. Llora monota calma, llora el agua. It weeps on monotonously the way water weeps. Como llora el viento sobre la nevada. The way wind weeps over the snow drifts. It's impossible, callarla. It's impossible to hush it. Llora por cosas lejanas. It weeps for things far away. Arena del sur caliente que tiene camellas blancas. For the sand of the hot south. For eggs for the white canoes. Llora flechas en blanco la tarde sin mañana. It weeps for arrows without targets, for the afternoon without morning. Y el primer pájaro muerto sobre la rama. And for the first dead bird upon the branch. Oh, guitarra, corazón mal herido por cinco espadas. Guitar, heart. Greatly wounded by five swords. Oh, 